Today's episode is all about self-esteem. Self-esteem can sometimes feel like a murky concept. What is it exactly? Where does it come from? Is it something you're just born with? Or is it something you have to build and nurture, kind of like watering a plant? Well, as a life coach, what I've observed is that most people are born with pretty solid self-esteem. When you're young, you like yourself. You like your body, you express yourself creatively, you play, you take risks, you believe in your ability to do whatever you want to do. You feel good about yourself. But over time, this natural self-esteem can start to plummet. And studies show that for little girls, there's a big confidence drop that starts to happen around the age of eight. And around that time, and in the years that follow, girls start to doubt themselves. You start to feel like your body isn't good enough. You start to feel like you're not pretty enough, not smart enough, not disciplined enough, not talented enough, not lovable enough, not good enough, period. But the good news is, if your self-esteem is not super strong right now, it's not a permanent situation. You can gain it back, you can rebuild by changing the way you speak to yourself and changing your daily habits, you can build solid self-esteem the same way you would build a solid house. So on today's episode, I'm gonna share a story and some tips on how to build up your self-esteem. This would be a great episode to watch with your kids, by the way, because whether you're eight years old or 108, it's important to take care of your emotional health and do things that make you feel strong and confident. Here we go. Oh, hey, I'm Susan Hyatt, and this is Go Time TV. This is the show about creating what you crave right now. I'm a master certified life coach, author, entrepreneur, motivational speaker. I'm also a mom of two college age kids, and I'm married, and I've learned a lot in these 47 years. And one thing I've learned is that we're done with certain things, we're done with apologizing. We're done with hiding. We're done with pretending that we're not good enough to go after our goals and our dreams. So join me for these short episodes where I bring you on a journey and teach you how to get more of what you want. More time, more energy, more money, more intimacy, whatever it is that you crave, we're gonna create it right here on GoTime TV. It's time for the question of the day. This is the part of the show where I share a question for all of you viewers, you beautiful people who are watching this episode right now. So here's my question for you. What's something that makes you feel confident? Post your answer down below. Yes, queen, start sharing your number one confidence boosting tips. Share for the other people to see. Do it right now. So today's show is all about self-esteem. And ooh, I've got the best story for you. So a little while ago, a client shared with me the best story. This client is a mom. She's got a daughter, a little girl, like three years old. And the mom walked into the bathroom the other day and she caught her daughter blowing kisses to herself in the mirror. I mean, how freaking cute is that, this little girl? staring at herself, smiling, smooching herself in the mirror because she loves herself that much. So hearing the story, I immediately thought, like, can you imagine if every woman felt that way? Can you imagine liking yourself so much that when you passed a mirror, you blew a little kiss to yourself? Like you just couldn't help yourself. Can you imagine having that level of self-love, self-esteem and confidence? If every woman and girl felt like that, our world would be a really different place. We would have a lot more female CEOs and mayors and senators, and we'd have a lot more female millionaires and billionaires. And we'd have a lot more people, women, speaking up against bullies and taking charge and changing the world. A lot more women demanding better pay, better treatment, more respect, instead of settling for crumbs. Can you just imagine how different your life would be if you loved yourself the way that little girl loves herself? If you loved yourself that much, 
how would it change the way you show up at home or at work? Would you post more videos instead of avoiding being seen? Would you laugh even more and spread joy in a whole new way? Would you have a dance break in the middle of your workday instead of just grinding away at your desk for 12 hours without a break? Would it change the way you write, the way you interact with clients, the way you eat, the way you move your body, the clothes you wear? I bet it would in a big way. So today, I want you to blow a kiss to yourself. You can literally wink at yourself in the mirror and give yourself a kiss. Or do something that feels similar to you, something that feels like giving yourself a smooch. Do something loving, something caring, something that makes you feel confident and powerful. You could give yourself a pedicure, you could give yourself an exercise break, give yourself the nice headphones you really want instead of the cheapo version. Give yourself something that you really want that makes you feel like a queen. Kiss yourself, even if it feels silly. Give yourself the same love that you generously give everybody else. What's an area of your life that could use some fresh reinvention, fresh vibes, a new look, or maybe a new attitude? This part of the show is called your two minute upgrade. I show you how to upgrade a part of your life in two minutes or less. A quick makeover, tiny tweaks that make a big, big difference. Today, we're gonna to be talking about making over your filing cabinet. So we're standing in the Susan Hyatt Inc. office. And for those of you who have been following me for a while, it might look a little bit different. It's empty right now, other than a couple filing cabinets. I have new carpet on the floor. All of this dark paneling has been painted Navajo white or sugar cookie or something. Anyway, we had to get everything out of this office so that they could put down new carpet, repaint everything, remove the bookshelves. And Bianca, my assistant and I went through everything. And one of the things that I decided to finally tackle was this old, it's not staying, filing cabinet. It used to sit behind me when I would do Zoom calls, Facebook Lives, and it was full, I hate to say it, of files from like 2007 when I first started this company. So I went through the entire filing cabinet and there were files in there on clients from the beginning of this company. And it really got me thinking, why did I think I needed to hold on to this stuff? Everything's digital now, but it was just sitting there full of files. I found old iPhone boxes. I found old computer boxes. I found wires to headsets and old phones and things. I don't even know what they went to. My point is the world has changed. And if you have a home office, I guarantee you there's probably stuff if you haven't cleaned out in a while that you could in two minutes go get a hefty bag and empty the contents. <laughs> if you haven't needed to look at that stuff in years, you don't need to look at it today. So I'm gonna challenge you, two minutes or less, hefty bag, go through your files, and if you just do a couple minutes a day, I mean, we cleaned out this office in no time, and what happens is that there's all this fresh energy in here. I can't wait for the new furniture to come. Of course, it's a total makeover and I will show you the before and after, but just the act of getting rid of old cell phone and old computer boxes and old um, wires and cords, it felt like, oh my God, fresh start in this fresh space. This has been Go Time TV. This episode was all about self-esteem. I hope this episode has inspired you to be nice to yourself. I mean, hello, what a concept, right? Be kind to yourself. Do something that makes you feel confident and powerful. Kiss yourself in the mirror because you love yourself that damn much. And if this show brought some positivity into your day, click thumbs up below and subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'm Susan Hyatt saying bye until next time. And remember, you only get one life, make it big, make it bold, and make it count. It's go time. Now listen, we are standing in my office, and this hey. is Andrea. <laughs>